What's good, people? Welcome back to another episode of Your Boy is Failing at This Game, featuring my own avatar. Before I get started, look at my uh, second channel. By the time you're seeing this, it should be November, and that number you just seen, 313, is now up to 709. Which is great at the time of this recording, but I'm trying to get it to 1,000 before December 31st, if not on December 31st. So, here's the thing. If you like what you see here, then subscribe to the uh, channel you just seen, because I do what you're about to see live. And when I say what you're about to see, I mean me struggle to cope with this game. Anyways, we are on Descent. And yes, I know, uh, most of my shootouts happen on this map, and you've probably seen one the night before. But every time I come onto this game, it's either Fisk, this map, or Battery. But you know what? Enough about uh, maps and whatnot, because I am looking for somebody near this comm station. But nobody's here. But watch what happens as soon as I hit this comm station. Nothing. Then someone grabs an airdrop. Let's go. Okay, cool, that guy's down, and you can tell, because, you know, the squish sound effect, and the flashing airdrop. But, I'm going to say something, and it, it might, it might be a bit insensitive, but a flashing airdrop on anybody's compass is like one of those spinny light towers at an airport. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Like, a big bomb, is that an M249 going off? Yeah, it was. That's why I turned around. Like one of those, like those huge towers or tall behind towers with a spinny light on it that guides planes to the runway. Yeah. Planes, raincoats. Airdrop, runway. How'd I know this raincoat was here? Why'd raincoat have one body armor? Well, I didn't know he was here, but something said, Jet, don't leave yet. J just don't, don't leave yet. Because name the encounters as I check my iron sights to make sure like I'm scoped in and whatnot. Check how many encounters you've had where you kill some mouth an airdrop and, the, and you leave the airdrop behind, right? And someone grabs said flashing airdrop on the damn compass. That guy I just killed was going to be that one guy that escaped with a flashing airdrop on this map. Yeah, we, we've seen it all before and I hate it. And I mean absolutely hate it when it happens to me live. Because in my mind, I'm like, you're rushing toward an airdrop. Literally an end game in this game. And we're just going to pick it up and leave? Dog, there's like seven other people that are going to do the exact same thing you're doing. And yet, you just pick it up and leave? Oh, no. Nah. Yeah. That's how I feel about that. But, he's gone. And I have his VZ-52 rifle. 
and I was also aiming down sight to see how good that thing's iron sight is, it's trash. But maybe it's not meant to be uh, aimed down sight. I mean, I don't know. Right? I don't know. What I do know is I'm going to mess with this airdrop a little bit more. Because we love a good old radiated overweight airdrop. It's like the bane of every player's existence. Now, here's an important moment coming up. You see me running. Minding my business. Right? And then I hear something. I go prone. Look on the road. There's a person. Right? He ports me. Now, does he immediately shoot at these trees? The answer? No. So what is he doing? Well, isn't it obvious? He's running toward the trees I was just at. I would be an idiot to still be in those trees. Or, or he's taking cover and then looking at the trees. But if he's smart, which I think he is, he hid behind cover, then hit his port, then detected me in the trees, and by the time, there you go. By the time he searches the area, I'm already gone. You see, and I can't say this enough, just because you see somebody and or you get ported, does not mean you have to shoot. Does not mean you, gotta, you have to get into a gunfight. People, remember this moment. Remember this moment. But as I'm blazing trails and hauling ass, um, the phone's ringing. And how much you want to bet? It's the guy who ported me just now. And, oh, would you look at that? Someone picked up the airdrop. Yeah. So even though I killed somebody near the airdrop, someone else is going to said toward airdrop. Or toward said airdrop. But if you're wondering why I keep looking behind me, if not tilting my camera, well, it's simple. The guy that ported me twice also sees a guy with an airdrop. If I were him, I would, run, would be running this way too. This is why you keep seeing me looking behind myself. People, you can overcome 20% of the surprises that you have in this game by just answering the question, if I were somebody, what would I do? And I mean somebody as in someone near me, if not chasing me, if not a guy I just seen. Right? And I mean, you're, you're going to try to guess what they're doing and you're going to get it wrong. But if you get it right all the time, then you're either a genius or you play this game entirely too much. I'm the second option. But yes, so the guy with the airdrop has escaped. And I'm still good with my health, my body armor, and all that good stuff. Did I just see somebody just now? Yep, I sure did. People, I am willing to bet you one shiny nickel that this person that I just headshotted with an AWRA1 from a decent range away, I don't want to say it, a VSS would have been better for this here headshot. This person right here was the same person that ported me twice when I was near the bridge. How much you want to bet? Like I said, I'll bet you one shiny behind nickel. I'm being straight out of the metal works. But you can't see me in real life, so the bet is off. But yes, this guy had a golden bugle on full auto. Um, 
this guy has a problem. And again, I'm betting you another shiny behind nickel that this guy had on body armor. People, this is why you aim for the head. This is why. Because no matter how bad you shoot, if you hit somebody in the head, they're a goner. And also, this is one of the main reasons why I keep playing this game, because if they add some kind of helmet, I'm uninstalling. Plain and simple. But I'm running toward this here airdrop to do my thing. You know, put radiation, uh, put a radiation grenade on it to make the airdrop ungrabbable. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, so it turns out someone else was near the airdrop. And they had a KK. Basically a rapidly firing SKS. And back in the day, when this game actually had weapon balancing, the SKS used to hurt. And as far as I know, they didn't touch the KK. So, um, I was not taking any chances. And to those of you that are like, Jet, I never see you use a stem charge caffeine combo except when you're leaving the encounter. Well, folks, in my opinion, this is the most dangerous part of every single encounter. Leaving. People, I want you to notice something. As many gripes as I have with the game, the game is just a game. And the saying is, don't hate the player, hate the game, right? But sometimes players end themselves. Because the last two people that I killed, what do they have in common? Ports. And what I do? I ran, set up, and killed. Okay, the last guy I didn't set up, but he was just he just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, but like I said, ports. Players rely on that one consumable and it gets them killed. Because I mean look. If you use ports in a way to where you, you want to make sure that you're safe, I get it. It makes sense. But if you get ported, believe it or not, the ball is in your court. It's up to you what you want to do with it. And in this video, I've shown you how I do it. So that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.